North Dakota doesn't have a lot of forest land, so managing agencies like the State Forest Service and the Game and Fish Department are always looking for ways to improve forest health and create more wildlife habitat. A lot of it is in what we would characterize as a, a state of, of decline. Uh, there's a lot of aspen stem decay, uh, canker diseases, and it's primarily because uh, there's not a lot of natural disturbances that would uh, cause those stands to regenerate. To improve the aspen stands, the agencies are clearing two to five acre aspen tracks on state land using a brush cutter mounted to a heavy duty skid steer. The equipment was purchased by the Game and Fish and the Forest Service through Federal Wildlife Restoration Act funds. And I want to make a point of this because some people under don't understand that a clear cut is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, what we're doing is we're mimicking a natural disturbance such as a fire. And when you look at the predominance of aspen in the Turtle Mountains, it's, it's quite evident that disturbance was an important factor uh, in these stands uh, historically. Kanga says that mimicking those disturbances will create a mosaic of different age classes of aspen, which will benefit numerous wildlife species. This is a timber stand improvement site that was uh, treated back in 2002, so it's been 15 years, and you can see what it looks like now, and this is essentially what our new treatment areas are going to look like in the future. The Game and Fish Department first started aspen management back in 1963 to benefit the ruffed grouse. Much of that effort was stalled because contractors were not available to do the work but now the project has renewed hope. Rough grouse are, are very dependent on aspen, and not just having aspen on the landscape, but they need to have certain age classes available to them of aspen that provide those habitat needs throughout the year. Prince says that where aspen was manipulated on state wildlife areas in the past, rough grouse population trends did show increases on spring surveys. Once the work is completed, the state will have a healthier aspen forest that will benefit not just grouse, but deer and many other woodland wildlife species. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.